Hello, my friend. Um, today I want to talk about a um, yeah, slightly sensitive uh, topic. Um, um, and I'm trying to bridge the gap between different opinions. Um, I want to talk about, um, generally speaking, it's about beliefs, but I want to go a little more specific. I want to talk about religion. Um, and I came home today and there were two young gentlemen. Um, they just came towards me and um, we started to talk. It turned out there were uh, Mormons and they were on a two-year mission tri trip to, well, you know, expand um, their beliefs. And uh, it was actually a very nice conversation because um, it was very open. Uh, there was no pushback from either side. And um, people sometimes ask, like, well, what is my belief? Um, I am Muslim, I am Christian, I am Buddhist, I am Mormon. Um, me personally, I would say I'm a little bit of all of that. Um, if we distill religion and we take the essence, um, people will realize that the overlap of different religions is by far bigger than the differences. Um, I think it helps to stay open-minded, to understand this is not like, um, you know, your belief is wrong, him, her belief is wrong, um, I, my belief is the one and only. I think all of the beliefs should coexist and there should be an uh, acceptance. Um, you have to stay open-minded. Um, if you look at belief, um, belief is something that we assume, but that is not scientifically proven. Um, and I know a lot of people is like, well, you know, there, I can prove that X, Y, Z. Well, right, just from a scientific um, standpoint, beliefs or religion are there are uh, beliefs that assume what you or him or me believe is um, seems to be true. Um, I think. Um, it is good to know that we all have a confirmation bias. So what does it mean? Um, we all look at the life uh, through a specific lens and we filter information out. And uh, most people are not aware how intense that filter is, how intense we take the information in. So let's say you get a new car and you have a, let's say a red Porsche. Um, and you will find more Porsche or more, you know, cars of, of that specific kind uh, in your environment, even if it's kind of rare, um, because your awareness just increases. Right? Um, and it's similar with the confirmation bias. So if you filter information, you have a specific uh, belief, as, say, as a Christian, then you will filter the information out that will assure your belief. And I think that's very important to understand that we all do that. And um, I think the more open-minded you can stay, the more you can analyze and the more you can stay um, in communication. Every time when we discuss something and uh, we feel somebody else pushing back or we feel ourselves pushing them back, or feel rejected, then um, that's our ego. And you have to acknowledge this one. The ego always compares, uh, knows better, um, resists other opinions. Um, the ego projects um, onto others. Um, and when we realize that, we can take ourselves a little bit back. We're like, okay, this is my ego. Um, and it makes the communication by far easier. Um, Real confidence, in my opinion, is when you have your own opinion and you can communicate the opinion and discuss the opinion, um, can put yourself into other people's um, shoes and uh, look at their belief, their religion and say, okay, that's interesting. When you do that, I think something quite magical happens because you can analyze and say, like, okay, the belief or the religion that I follow is it serving myself or are there better ways of um, living? 
And if you put yourself into other people's shoes, you can look at their religion. You can, um, if you like the opinions or um, the way of living, um, you can transition to a different belief um, or adapt certain aspect of that belief to your own um, without feeling uh, uncomfortable, threatened in your own belief. Um, and it um, creates more a, 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 um, a dynamic of uh, self-improvement, in my opinion. And um, it creates the ability to uh, communicate better um, and to improve your life in general. Um, so I would like to see what you have to say about um, this. Um, you know, just put some comments under and then we can discuss a little bit further. Take care.